Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you something that I added to my game which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, but basically what it is, is you know how you can have faces when you talk to characters? Well, if you're like me and you don't really have any graphical ability and you have no faces, then I thought wouldn't it be cool if instead of showing the face, which I don't have a graphic of, it just showed a snapshot of the sprite sheet. So you can see here when I talk to this character, it actually shows his sprite sheet in the faces dialog box. And again, you see here when I talk to this guy, it shows his little sprite. Um, this is kind of fun, you know, it adds a bit more dimension to your game. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm just gonna show you how I did that. It's actually quite simple. Um, it's not a plugin, uh, but it's a script that basically generates these images out of the sprite sheets that you already have. Anyway, so yeah, the way that um, I accomplished this is I took the existing sprite sheets. So for my sprite sheets, I actually use the RPG character builder tool, which I uh, built um, some time back, uh, which you can get on Steam for free. And that's what I'm using to actually create the sprites. So you'll see here in my images, I have a lot of different characters that I've created with this. I have various variations of my main characters, but also um, down here, lots of NPC characters. So if I do a preview here, here you can see you know, all the different NPCs that I have in the game. So the cool thing, um, essentially what I did is I took uh, this, this section here and turned that into a face image that RPG Maker can understand so that you can show it as a face when the character talks. So RPG Maker faces are stored in the faces directory in the images. And the way that faces work the default face is it's a it's a four by two grid. So you can see, for example, here's one that comes with the RPG Maker uh, out of the box. I actually changed the first image here, but it's eight faces, two rows of four. So as long as it matches the correct size and you can fit your image inside here, then RPG Maker will let you pick from any one of these eight when setting up your show text. So what I did is I simply just wrote a quick script using a, a free tool called Image Magic. And what I did is I took all of the existing images here, had that script cut out the first character and then create a new file for of just the perfect size. So here's that file right now. So if you take a look in, if I show you in GIMP, you'll see here is the character inside an image that is the correct size to show as a face. Uh, I will post that script up for you on the in the description, um, and I'll actually run it now just to give you an idea of how of how that's actually gonna gonna work. So, the script I created is called uh, Create Faces, and it's just a script that you can run on a Windows um, or a Mac computer from the command line, and it uses a file which I call SpriteSheets.txt which has a list of all the sprite sheets that you have in your game that you wish to convert to faces. And then when you do create faces, it will loop through, cut out the correct piece and generate the image that you need. And as you can see, as it starts going here, it just says created, created, created. So I'm actually gonna stop it there because I don't want it to create all of them. But what I can show you is you see there it created maybe about 15 images. And if we go back here, the, here they are. These are the images that it just created. So I can then take these images, copy them into the faces directory, which you can see I previously did by running this script all the way through. So for these, I'll just delete them because I, I don't need them. But then in, in your RPG Maker, it's now just a case of setting the face of the actor. So if I create a, a new event, 
Um, let's just create one here in, in, in my test map. So yeah, you just create an event and set the set the image of the event, but more importantly, so when you do the show text, you can just click in here and find the correct image that you want. Select the first option, and now when we run this and we talk to the player, it'll show that. That, that nice little face. So there's our event, so let's go say hi. And you can see here, look, so there it is. So I just think, you know, that, that, that really makes the game um, a lot nicer. It's nice to see uh, some kind of face or bust when talking to different NPCs. And you can also get fancy. Uh, what I've done in my game is as well as allowing you to select it um, by clicking on the on the faces option in the show text, you can do something like maybe set um, set it to a set the the file the face image to a variable and allow it to be more dynamic. Um, in my game, my character can have multiple different sprite sheets um, dependent upon what beard he's wearing. So I have it so that when the beard is changed. Um, through a little code by setting or, and by setting a variable then I can actually have it do that using the message call uh, from Yanfly. So yeah I'll um, I'll post the, the script in the description and if you have any questions feel free to comment hit me up and uh, I will I can help you get this going but I think it's a pretty cheap and effective way to get some faces into your game. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.